Hey builders, it's Corey. I want to do a quick update on the 1950-3100 that I'm building for the under 1000 group build. And I have a bit of a mail call or well lack thereof. Um, well, as you know, I was missing the fan from my engine. Uh, Rob, over at Time Machine Scale Models, he was nice enough to send me a new one, USPS. Said it arrived yesterday. I don't have a box. I uh, checked the wife and the kids. They haven't seen the box either. So I don't know if they lost the box, if it blew off my porch. I'm not sure what happened. But either way, I appreciate them trying to send me a new one. If it doesn't show up in the next week or so, I'll have to figure something else out. If I want to do a scratch-built fan or just do a curbside. I do plan on doing a dial for it, doing actually the barn that it's found in. Uh, I won't be doing that for the build. I'll do that as a separate video later. But I at least want to get the truck done. But um, I'll get this turned around here and I can show you what's going on with the truck. As you may have seen from my community post, I have the rust coat done on the body. While doing the rust coat, I did a little bit of pre-shading for in here. My tailgate still works, which is a plus. That way I can position it wherever I want. Um, I did add body damage to the front corner here and the back corner here. I did some other minor body damage as well. Uh, those will show up more during weathering. I added a little bit more detail to the seat before priming it to make them look even more realistic. Got my springs all done. A little bit of dry brushing and some washes that'll really come out. And then do the trim along the sides there. To continue with our barn find feel, I went ahead and added some more detail here. I drilled out the panels. I added the door lever. And this is torn fabric here. That'll show up a lot more prominently once I paint it and get some color on it, but I just wanted to show you the detail work I did there. I did get the chrome started. It's got the first step of weathering. You can see there's a little bit of speckling. I'll do a little bit more once it gets on the truck and I get some more color on there, but at least I wanted to get the pre-coat on there. Hopefully we get a break from the rain this weekend, and it'll do the salt weathering and the top coat. If you guys have any questions on how I do rust or the salt weathering, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer your questions or make a video if need be. And until next time, dream big, build small. Thanks for watching.